Keep her going. Oh, it's kind of weird. I don't really have a sense of when the car is going to lose it if the camera's not with it. It's kind of strange. What do you guys think of the drift camera in this game now? Is it good? Bad? Do you like it? you dislike it? It used to be that you could do it from inside, which is cool. Inside just makes a lot more sense. But like outside or any other camera? I don't know. Ooh, that was a clean corner. That was a clean corner. The shift wasn't too good, but that corner was sick. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to a super wheel spin challenge here in Forza Horizon 5. It's been a minute. I've been doing regular wheel spins, and we're going to see what we can do with a super wheel spin, which means we're going to spin until we get a car to use, and then maybe some money alongside it. We'll see. Ah, an RX-7 Spirit R and 25 grand. We actually can do something with this. It only took seven spins and we got something we could use. What a beautiful car. All right, let's see what we can do to this thing for 25 grand. I am not exactly sure what we're going to be able to do. Uh, we'll just give it our best. 25 grand, we can turn this thing into an A-class drift car. This is our first attempt. If the 25 grand does not work out for our drift car, we'll try something else. But this is an A-class drift car. It's pretty low in the power, to be honest. It's got drift tires, it's rear wheel drive only, and uh, it's only like three or 400 horsepower, but I am not exactly certain if this thing's gonna work or not because we don't have any transmission swaps with it. Oh, and they added that drift camera, which is so weird. This thing's gonna be a second gear ripper because it's got an open div, which is, oh boy, interesting. Okay, let's try this thing out. We're probably not gonna take it online because we are gonna get smoked. Oh, come on, baby. Once that turbo kicks in, we're not we're not doing too bad. Oh, I don't like this camera. That's weird. We'll leave it on for a minute because I find it kind of aesthetically pleasing, but still kind of weird. All right, here we are coming up to my favorite drift zone in this whole game, the Lost Dunas one. Oh, there we go. Come on, baby. Keep her together. Dude, this camera is weird. It's tripping me out. I don't know if I don't know if I'm gonna like this after some time or not. I'll have to keep looking into it. But I've been playing motorsport a lot recently, and uh, it's not not really a place for drifting that much in that game. Come on, baby, keep her together, keep her going. Oh, it's kind of weird. I don't really have a sense of when the car is gonna lose it if the camera's not with it. It's kind of strange. Damn, this thing lacks power. Come on, keep her together. No. Oh, this is weird. I don't have a locked diff to deal with. I, I did everything basically towards power and drift suspension and tires because I wanted this thing to actually be able to rip. I don't even remember what we were, but my personal best is 231. This thing's actually not too far off, I'm pretty sure. Let's give it another shot, shall we? All right, coming in in fourth gear, we're going to whip it sideways, hit the e-brake, and drop her a gear. This thing does not have enough power or speed to keep sideways through that first corner. Come on. We're just gonna have to freaking send this thing back and forth a whole bunch in order to keep it going. Come on, baby, keep going. Oh, stay on the road. We need the points. We need the points. Oh, I screwed it up last second. 181,000, I'm gonna call that there because there's no way in hell we're gonna get any better than that. Let's go do something stupid and take this thing to the mountain. We're only gonna give it one shot on the mountain though. This of course would not be a drift car build if we didn't take it to the mountain at least once, right? Here we go. I'm, this should be relatively easy because it's downhill a lot and downhill is really going to assist us with keeping this car going. It's really not that bad. It just lacks power. If I could, I think if I would have left it on regular tires and put the money towards power, it might actually be a little better. We can control how much grip goes on the tires from just the air pressure alone, but I don't know. That, that might have been, might have been the more smart, more intelligent move. Come on, keep going car. This thing is struggling. This tune is even like specifically meant to keep as little traction as possible on the back tires. I have the back tire pressure as high as it'll go, the 55 PSI. I've got it maximum negative camber and maximum positive toe, I'm pretty sure, which makes it not want to drive straight at all. And yet I cannot keep this thing sideways. Dang it, car, go! What do you guys think of the drift camera in this game now? Is it good bad you like it you dislike it it used to be that you could do it from inside which is cool inside is makes a lot more sense but like outside or any other camera i don't know it's interesting because i do this on my own like when i'm driving i'll switch the camera like that but having the game do it for me something about that just weirds me out we're actually not doing too bad on the old points here i'm actually quite enjoying this i think this camera's grown on me now 
This car, even though it's underpowered, is actually quite a lot of fun. It's very controllable because obviously it doesn't want to slide, which means I have to work to make it slide, and it just is really kind of easy to drive. We are approaching the end. Are we going to make 900? No, not quite. Given another 100 horsepower, I think it would definitely do it, but I don't think 25 grand is going to make it worth the while for making this thing a drift car. So I'm going to reset it. Buy a new one so we have all the new prices again and do what we can do with 25 grand. Oh, look at that. Perfect A-class build. Basically, we can squeeze a little bit more power out of it, but that's it. I won't lie. It took me like 15 minutes in order to get the perfect, just the perfect number there. And it's, it was, it was something. We didn't even get a transmission to upgrade, which sucks, but whatever. We're just going to have to make do. We don't even have anti-roll bars. Shit. We're going to have to exaggerate the tuning with the springs in order to get this thing to actually handle somewhat decently. No differential or, I mean, we can do brakes. We did do a little bit of brake upgrade, but that's all we got. All right, let me talk you through what we did. Of course, we went for power. We went for racing suspension, which of course is necessary. We're gonna have to deal with no anti-roll bars. We didn't change the diff. We didn't change the transmission. There's no aero. We're just gonna have to hope that what we did is gonna make this car good enough to compete. So let's see how we do in a rivals event on the Mexico circuit. My personal best, like it says right there, 105.4. So. How close are we going to get? Okay, here goes nothing. Let's cut to the flying lap. Okay, here we go. I am almost certain we're not going to be able to do this. This thing. Oh, careful there, buddy. It is. Uh, it's got a decent amount of power and it likes to slide. It's only rear wheel drive. It's uh, it's something. Oh, this camera is wigging me out a little bit. Come on, baby. Keep her together. Come on, baby. Power down. Power down. We're going to have to test this thing in a sprint race as well. Oh, oh. Oh, keep her together. 110, we're five seconds off. I'm going to keep going for a minute and see if I can do any better. Oh, that was a clean corner. That was a clean corner. The shift wasn't too good, but that corner was sick. Oh, make the turn very well. I could run this thing as perfect as possible, and I couldn't shave off any more time. I mean, I could probably get her down to like 107. 108 if I really really tried but this car is just not good enough to keep up with that bone shaker it's not got enough grip through the corners it's not got enough power coming out and the transmission set up a little a little goofy I can't tune it to accelerate any quicker so we're just gonna have to deal this is all we got let's go do a sprint race and see how it does on a sprint race we're actually going to do a street race because they are sprint races, but this one has the longest amount of time that we have to use our power advantage so we're gonna see if this thing actually helps on a sprint race in a long straight or if it's just an all-around decent car that's not got any strengths anywhere else does that make sense it doesn't make sense but you get what i'm saying okay here goes nothing i haven't done arrivals on this track since there was launch control added to the game i haven't done i don't do rivals often i went through and did uh i'm pretty sure i've done arrivals in every class down to b on every race but i could be wrong well for certain i haven't done it on cross country races but everything else probably oh he's getting away from us he's getting away from us we don't have the grip come on baby use that power advantage is it power advantage i don't even know if we have a power advantage that car may just be built better having an unlimited budget really makes us so you can make a better car come on go Oh, no. We're fine. We're fine. There's no collision, so that doesn't count. There's no collision, so that doesn't count as a failed lap or a whatever you want to call it. Come on, baby. Get her going. Up into fifth. Fifth and final. Use the power. We've got almost 500 horsepower in an RX-7, which is quite a lot. Okay, we're good. We're sliding it all the way through the corner. Damn, that super is quick. Oh, he's, he's taking the weird route, okay? You always cross an oncoming. Oh, we're getting smoked. We're getting smoked. It's almost like people build power build cars for this track just specifically because of this. Oh, coming in hot. We're good. We're good. All things are good. 
that sounds like a Bible verse. Oh, we were nowhere even close. We were even slower on this one than we were the other race. All right, ladies and gentlemen, which car is better? Definitely the race car. So for 25 grand, you can actually build a decent race car and a decent drift car, neither of which are going to perform at the top level, but you can do it. And they both turned out actually pretty fun to drive. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's an interesting super wheel spin. I haven't done one of these in a while, but thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you in the next video.